All right, so this is like a first for me. I don't believe I've done a video by them before, so um, I'm looking forward to lots of information in the comment section later on. We're gonna watch Dia's, or Dia, or D-I-A, Mr. Potter music video. We got a fucking Ouija board, guys. So this, I'm expecting this shit to be wild if not wild then just incredibly like scary and strange yeah, i was right we got a is that a darn darny uh, donny darko no but it's some kind of rabbit some rabbit demon yo the cinematography on this is fucking sick Look at how crystal clear this shit is. Ridiculous! My god. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love how colorful this is, and I think the, the girls are adorable. I'm guessing that they're a little younger than normal, right? Inform me if you, if you knew how old they happen to be. It's just coming off a little bit like an off-brand version of um, an orange caramel or red velvet video. Not gonna lie. Everything kind of looks like a Google Lisa Frank in um 1980s or 1990s Trapper Keepers. That's how everything kind of looks. Like when I was little, girls would have like binders that looked like this. Now, they showed us a Ouija board at the beginning of this video, so I'm expecting to see something twisted happen before this video ends. <laughs> we got a rap. We got a rap verse, everybody. Oh my god. So the name of the song is Mr. Potter. So I'm assuming this is some kind of reference to Harry Potter because these girls were like pretty cute teenage witches. So I, I see that maybe it's about five to ten percent Harry Potter influence. Not a whole lot. It's not overtly. Um, so it's mostly just, you know, a cartoon. You know what I mean? Cartoon kind of thing happening. Not a, it's not a bad thing. But um the the song 
matched it but i really feel like the video was better than the song i cannot lie to you but i'm also a little old for who this song was intended for so i'm trying to put myself in the shoes of like maybe if i was 11 would i like this because um I, you know maybe i don't know but but definitely for me being my age i don't think that the music was that awesome like it sounds a lot like many other things i've seen before and um at different points it seemed derivative of orange caramel and red velvet like maybe they're trying to market them to to do their style but to a younger base maybe like maybe this is intended for like six to eight year olds i'm not really sure um it's very it's very nickelodeon not that it's a problem but if these women are in their mid-20s it is a problem i don't know how old they are but um they definitely need their own swag like it's i mean i'm sure flattering to uh orange caramel and red velvet to have uh newer groups come out that kind of um emulate them because they like what they do so much i guess it should be flattering for them and make them look more valuable but just being in the audience trying to be entertained by this i wish i saw something more original you know i'm sure the the expensive production on this they could have afforded an original idea or two i'm just saying so ultimately i'll give this video i'll give it like a seven in yeah seven and a half it was okay um the music was also okay but you know i don't find anything special about it but perhaps in the future they will do something that'll just blow my mind and that's usually how things tend to happen watching these k-pop videos someone that you think is lame on a monday surprises you on a friday and you're like oh my god they're just the the craziest thing so you know don't take it don't take it too personal but this is a little mediocre for the quality i see in k-pop at least even over the past like two months just saying tell me how you feel though in the last uh, in the comment section below also please like and share this clip and follow us on instagram and twitter at bubble contagion the realist reaction channel the realist on youtube